The world's Swedish automaker Koenigsegg is famous for making ridiculously powerful hypercars with insane engines and horsepower ratings. Now they've created a smaller electric motor that can still turn out an impressive 800 horsepower. This six-phase electric motor establishes new benchmarks for power density and is poised to be used for its four-seat supercar. Join me today for deep dive on Koenigsegg insanely powerful machine review. It's an absolute game changer. Before you go, all electric cars are boring. Let me tell you this is not your average electric motor. Koenigsegg has managed to create a motor that's not only powerful but also incredibly compact. They've made not one but two of these motors, the Quark and the Terry. And when you combine these two motors with a single inverter, you get a crazy power on the ground. So you are wondering that how they managed to get intense power with the new small technology. That's the magic of Swedish engineering. Koenigsegg has managed to create an electric motor that's not only efficient, but also incredibly powerful. The secret lies in the design of the motor itself. So before reviewing the machine, let's dive on the history of Koenigsegg. Beginning of 90s, Christian von Koenigsegg, who was only 22 years old, decided to pursue his lifelong dream of building the world's largest super sports car, fast forward, and the first. Koenigsegg's concept vehicle CC was finally driven in public for the first time by Rickard Riddle at an event at Ender Store Prace Track in 1996. Other race car drivers to test the prototype included Pico Troberg and Kale Rosenblad. The concept worked spectacularly and was a great start to introducing Koenigsegg to prospective buyers. The Koenigsegg CC prototype was shown at the Cannes Film Festival and its success was immediate. Satisfactory test results from earlier driving, combined with the great media coverage at Cannes, enabled the company to go forward and engage in the creation of a finished product. The Koenigsegg CC8S made its place at some of the world's most prestigious motor shows including Paris and Geneva. In 2002, Christian's dream finally came true when Koenigsegg's first proper production car was unveiled and it was a game changer. The Koenigsegg CC8S's engine was certified by Guinness World Records as the most powerful engine in a mass-produced car in the whole world. Let's come back the insane Koenigsegg engines. Koenigsegg has ingeniously combined two methods to create the quirky motor. They call it Raxium Flux, which sounds made up, because it is but fear not Raxium Flux is a fusion of radial and axial flux, two different ways electric motors use function. Now for those of you who don't know what that means, let me break it down picture. This you have coils that rotate between magnets and depending on which way they go the axial does it along the axis that's more perpendicular and the radial does it running outside. The weight radial flux motors are cheap to create and widely available in electric vehicles but they need more revs to produce peak power. On the other hand axial flux motors offer more torque at low revs but require lightweight and extremely durable materials to withstand a lot of stress by combining these two motors. Koenigsegg has created a class leading torque to power to RPM to weight matrix making the quirky motor a powerhouse in a tiny package. The quirky motor weighs a mere 30 kilos, which is lighter than the motors Tesla used in its everyday models to give you an idea that's about same weight of your kid's school bag. The quark produces an astounding 335 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. However, it's good to keep in mind that the peak power lasts only for about 20 seconds before dropping to 134 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. But still, that's more than enough power for most applications. The insane engine made of 300M steel. That's used in motorsport and aerospace, which is a fancy way of saying. It's really strong and really light, and they've used direct cooling, which is not only super efficient, but also makes the whole thing more compact. The rotor is made of Koenig sex carbon fiber technology, which makes it lightweight and powerful. In fact, the quark is so light and small that it's perfect for all kinds of applications. So how much power are we talking about here? Well, the quark puts out 330 brake horsepower and 443 newton meters of torque. That's pretty impressive. 
The Quark Koenigsegg is no stranger to making things lightweight, and they've used their expertise to make the Quark super efficient. They even used air core technology on the rotor, which is the same stuff they use in carbon fiber wheel steering. Wheels and seats, and they are not afraid to use carbon fiber anywhere they can. The Jisco's rear wheels, the weigh just 8.4 kilograms each, that's insane. The Quark is a tiny powerhouse that's perfect for all kinds of applications, and while Tesla might have more power, the Quark holds its own against the competition with its compact size and solid power delivery. Let's not forget that the Quark is made by Koenigsegg, a company that knows a thing or two about making high-performance machines. They've taken their expertise in lightweight design and applied it to the Quark, resulting in a motor that's small light and incredibly powerful. So if you're familiar with Koenigsegg, you know they like to do things a little bit differently than everyone else, from their crazy horsepower to their wild doors. They're always pushing the boundaries, and the TFG engine is no exception. It's a relatively small, 2-liter twin-turbocharged 3-cylinder powertrain. When combined with the electric motor on the crankshaft, it produces a whopping 600 brake horsepower for the front wheels and for rear drive there's a single electric motor on each of the rear wheels. The Camaro has four seat SAID cup holders and a combined output of 1700 horsepower. That's just mind boggling, and the quirky motor is the key to making all of this work together. The idea is that the e-motor will handle the low down grunt for instant acceleration, while the combustion engine kicks in for the top end punch. According to Koenigsegg, all of this means that the Camaro will effortlessly surge to a top speed of 248 miles an hour. But Koenigsegg isn't stopping there. Along with the Quark, they have also announced the Terrier, which will find its way into completely electric models despite its small size and weight of only 85 kilos. The engine is capable of a whopping 660 brake horsepower, and it's a torque vectoring unit, which means it can electronically vary the torque and send it to each wheel for better handling. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the car nerd for detailed explanation of the insane engine. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Stay tuned for our next exploration into the extraordinary realm of cars. Until then, drive with passion and embrace the thrill of the road.